At the outset, the learned beings of that group demonstrated before the other members of the club various forms of being experiencings and being manifestations. Then later they collectively selected from all that was demonstrated what corresponded to the various details of one or another already existing mystery or of one newly created by themselves. And only after all this did they indicate in those being experiencings and manifestations reproduced by them what they wished by means of intentionally allowed deviations from the principles of the law of sevenfoldedness. Here it is necessary to notice that Although in former epochs mysteries occasionally containing many instructive notions chance to reach some of their generations mechanically, and sometimes pass from generation to generation to beings of very remote generations, yet those mysteries and the contents of which the learned members of the Club of the Adherents of Legomanism then intentionally place varied knowledge, calculating that it would reach beings of very remote generations, have during recent times almost totally ceased to exist. These mysteries there incorporated in the process of their ordinary existence centuries earlier already began gradually to disappear soon out of the Babylonian period. At first their place was taken by what are called their Kesbaji, or as they are now called there on the continent Europe, puppet shows, Petrushka. But afterwards they were finally ousted by their still existing theatrical shows or spectacles, which are there now one of the forms of that said contemporary art of theirs which acts particularly perniciously in the process of the progressive shrinking of their psyche. These theatrical spectacles replace the mysteries after the beings of the beginning of the contemporary civilization, to whom only a fifth to a tenth was passed down of the information about how and what these said Babylonian learned mysteries had done, began to think of imitating them in this also and set about doing as it were the same. From that time on, the other beings there called these imitators of the mysteries, players, comedians, actors. And at the present time, they already call them artists, of whom, I may say, very many have sprung up during recent times. And these learned beings of that time, belonging to the group the mysteries, indicated various useful information and the knowledge already attained by them, by means of what are called currents of associative movements of the participants in these mysteries. Although the three brain beings of your planet then already well knew about the laws of the currents of associative movements, yet absolutely no information whatsoever concerning these laws has passed to the contemporary three brain beings. As this said, currents of associative movements does not proceed in the presences of the three brain beings who have taken your fancy, as it generally proceeds in the presences of other three brain beings, and as there were quite special reasons there for this, proper to them alone, I must therefore first of all explain it to you in rather more detail. The process is the same as that which also proceeds in us, but it proceeds in us when we are intentionally resting, to allow the whole functioning of our common presence freely to transform, without hindrance by our will, all the varieties of being energy required for our all-round active existence, whereas in them these said various being energies can now arise only during their total inactivity, that is, during what they call their sleep, and then, of course, only after a fashion. Owing to the fact that they, like every other three-brained being of the whole of our great universe, have three separate, independent, spiritualized parts, each of which has as a central place for the concentration of all its functioning, a localization of its own which they themselves call a brain, all the impressions and their common presences, whether coming from without or arising from within, are also perceived independently by each of these brains of theirs, in accordance with the nature of these impressions. And afterwards, as it is also proper to proceed in the presences of every kind of being without distinction of brain system, these impressions, together with previous impressions, compose the total, and thanks to occasional shocks, evoke in each of these separate brains an independent association. So, my boy, from the time when these favorites of yours completely cease consciously to actualize in their common presences the being park dog duty, thanks only to the results of which what is called sane comparative mentation as well as the possibility of conscious active manifestation can arise in beings from various associations. 
and from the time when the separate brains, associating now quite independently, began engendering in one and the same common presence three differently sourced being impulses, they then, thanks to this, gradually, as it were, acquire in themselves three personalities, having nothing in common with each other in respect of needs and interests. Rather more than half of all the anomalies arising in the general psyche of your favorites, particularly those of recent times, are due in the first place to their having in their entire presence a process of three different kinds of independent associations evoking in them the being impulses of three localizations of different kinds and of different properties. And secondly, because there is a connection between these three separate localizations in them, as there is also in general in the presences of every kind of three brain being predetermined by great nature for other what are called common presence functionings. And thirdly, because from everything perceived and sensed, that is from every kind of shock, associations of three different kinds of impressions proceed in the three said localizations, in consequence of which three totally different kinds of being impulses are evoked in one and the same whole presence, then, on account of all this, a number of experiencings are nearly always proceeding in them at one and the same time, and each of these experiencings by itself evokes in the whole of their being an inclination for a corresponding manifestation, and in accordance with the definite parts of their total presence, a corresponding movement is thus actualized. Just these said differently sourced associative experiencings proceed in their common presences and ensue one from the other also in accordance with the same law of sevenfoldedness. The learned members of the club of the adherents of Legomanism belonging to this group then in Babylon indicated what they wished in the movements and in the actions of the participants in the mysteries in the following way. For instance, suppose that in order to fulfill his role in the given mystery, according to lawful associations, a participant evoked in one or another of his brains some new impression or other, he was bound to react by some or other definite manifestation or movement. But he would intentionally produce this manifestation or movement not as he ought to have produced it, according to the law of sevenfoldedness, but otherwise. And in these otherwises they inserted in a certain way whatever they considered necessary for transmission to distant generations. In order, my boy, that you should have a concrete representation of these satiry demonstrations, at which I was always glad to be present in order to rest from my intense activities at that time, I will give you an illustrative example of how these learned mistresses demonstrated before the other learned members of the club of the adherents of legomanism various being experiencings and manifestations according to the flow of associations from among the number of which fragments for future mysteries were selected. For these demonstrations they constructed in one of the large halls of the club a specially raised place which they then called the Reflector of Reality, but beings of subsequent epochs to whom the information concerning these Babylonian learned mysteries chanced to be transmitted, and who began imitating them, and doing as it were the same, called and still call their constructions of a similar kind, stages. Well then, two of the participants would always come upon these reflectors of reality or stages first, and then usually one of them stood for a while and, as it were, listened to his own what is called Darthal Lutznian state, or, as it is sometimes otherwise said, to the state of his own inner associative general psychic experiencings. Listening in this way, he would make it clear to his reason, for instance, that the sum total of his associating experiencings emerged in the form of an urgent inclination to hit another being in the face, the sight of whom had always served as the cause for the beginning of the association of those series of impressions present in him, which had always evoked in his general psyche disagreeable experiencings offensive to his own self-consciousness. Let us suppose that these disagreeable experiencings always proceeded in him when he saw someone who was then called Eroda Hahun, which professional their contemporary beings now call a policeman. Having then made this Darthel Lusnian psychic state an inclination of his clear to his reason, 
but at the same time being on the one hand well aware that in the existing conditions of external social existence it was impossible for him to gratify his inclination to the full, and on the other hand, being already perfected by reason and being well aware of his dependence on the automatic functioning of the other parts of its common presence, he clearly understands that on the gratification of this inclination of his depends the fulfillment of some imminent and important being duty of his, of great importance to those around him. And having thought over everything in this way, he decides to gratify this urgent inclination of his as best he can by at least doing a moral injury to that eroda hahun by evoking in him associations that would lead to unpleasant experiencings. With this object in view, he turns to the other learned being who has come onto the stage with him, and treating him now as an eroda hahun or policeman, he would say, I, you, don't you know your duty? Don't you see that there? Pointing with his hand at that moment in the direction of another small room of the club where were the other participants of the demonstrations of that day. Two citizens, a soldier and a cobbler, are fighting in the street and disturbing the public peace, and here you are leisurely strolling about, imagining yourselves God knows who, and leering at the passing wise of honest and respectable citizens. Just you wait, you scamp, through my chief, the chief physician, I shall report to your chief your negligence and breach of duty. From that moment the learned being who had spoken would become a physician, because he had chanced to call his chief the head physician of the city, while the second learned being whom the former had called a policeman would assume the role of a policeman. Two other participating learned beings were then immediately called from the other room by the one who assumed the role of policeman, and they assumed the roles of cobbler and soldier respectively. And these two latter learned beings assumed and had to manifest themselves in just those roles, namely, one in the role of a soldier and the other in the role of a cobbler, only because the first learned being, having himself in accordance with his Darth Lusnian state, assumed the role of a physician, had called them soldier and cobbler respectively. Well then, these three learned beings who were thus cast impromptu by the fourth learned being, fulfilling every kind of perception and manifestation which had to flow by law of types foreign to them, or as your favourites say of strange roles, namely of the roles of cobbler, soldier and policeman, further produced their experiencings, and from them their reflex manifestations, thanks to the being property in them called Ikrultatskatkra a property also well known to the learned beings of the planet Earth of that period, who were already able to perfect their presences up to the ableness of actualizing this property. Three-centered beings can acquire the said being property called Ikrul Tatskakra only if there is already personally acquired in their presences what is called Esso Aireturasnian will, which in its turn can be obtained thanks to always the same part dog duty, that is, to conscious labors and intentional sufferings. So it was in this way that the learned members of the group of the mistress then in Babylon became players of strange roles, and demonstrated before the other learned members of the club the experiencings and the actions ensuing from them, which were produced in accordance with the directing of their well-informed reason. And thereafter, as I have already said, they, together with the other learned members of the club of the adherents of legomenism who were present, selected the corresponding for their aim from among the being impulses demonstrated in such a way, which according to the law of the flowing of different sourced associations, had to be experienced and manifested in the definite actions of the beings, and only then did they include those selected in the details of some mystery or other. Here it is very important to emphasize that then in Babylon the three-brained learned beings who belonged to the group of the Mysteris did indeed reproduce in action amazingly well and accurately the subjective particularities of the perceptions and manifestations of various types foreign to them. They reproduced them well and accurately, not only because, as I have already explained, they possessed the being property, Ekrul Tatskakakura, but also because the learned beings of the planet Earth of that time were very well aware of what is called the law of typicality, and that the three brain beings of the planet are ultimately formed into 27 different definite types, and also in which cases what had to be perceived and how it had to be perceived and how they had to manifest themselves. 
Concerning the said being property I have just called Ikurotatskakra, I must add further that just this property alone gives beings the possibility of restraining themselves within the limits of all these impulses and promptings which are evoked at any given moment in their common presences by the associations flowing in that brain in which they themselves have consciously given the start for the associations of one or another series of impressions already present in them. And it is only thanks to this property that beings have the possibility of perceiving every kind of detail of the psyche of the type they have already previously well studied, and of manifesting themselves similarly to it and fully impersonating it. In my opinion, it is on account of the absence of just that property that the majority of all these anomalies have arisen which have resulted in the three brain beings of the planet Earth who have taken your fancy becoming possessed of such a strange psyche. You must know that in the presences of the three brain beings of the present time, as well as in the presences of every kind of three brain being in general, Every new impression is accumulated in all their three separate brains in the order of what is called kindredness. And afterwards they take part with the impressions already previously registered in the associations evoked in all these three separate brains by every new perception in accordance with and in dependence upon what are called the gravity center impulses present at the given moment in their whole presence. <coughs> 